Hi there everyone, AV Dowdy here. I know it's been a little bit since I've recorded something new. I've been taking a little break, but anyways. Today I just want to show you a real quick review of a mod I made, or actually a few mods I made. They're very simple, and I can go over that in a second once my game loads in. I'm sorry I'm making you watch this, but it's giving me time to talk. <laughs> um, so, I made some mods that help organize your inventory. Now there are tons of mods already on Nexus that do that. Um, most of them though require uh, F4SC, Fallout 4 Script Extender. So if you're not interested in using that, you're kind of limited to like really old mods that have been on, on there for a very long time and have some bugs with recent Fallout 4 updates. Or um, there is a couple other mods that are basically similar to what I did but they didn't meet my very, you know, niche requirements. Anyway, so the mods that I made, I made three mods. Um, one is called All Keys After Z. And this mod, all it does is it takes all of your keys and your passwords and your key cards and those things. And it adds, see this little rectangle in front of it? It adds a bullet in front of the item. I went through all of the base game and the DLCs in Fallout 4 Edit, and I added this bullet in front of every single name of every single key, password, and key card in the game. So now, and so what I also did is I researched online to see like, you know, how I can make it go at the bottom of the list. So it turns out that you can refer to this called the ASCII table or something like that and it is a list of all characters like all characters um, and their associated number their sequence uh, and where they fall on and so A through Z the letters of the alphabet it's like first I think it's like the capital letters and then or it's the reverse maybe it's the lowercase letters first and then the capital letters but um, Z is like, I think it's like 98 or it's like 150 or something. Anyways, the best looking <laughs> character that I could find, uh, is the bullet and it happens to be lower on the sequence, the scale, whatever, than the alphabet. So I chose that. It also turns out that the bullet, although it's a circle in Fallout 4 edit, when you are actually in the game, it looks like this. It looks like a nice little rectangle. And I, that, that's my preference. There are other mods on Nexus that do similar things. There is one that is sort of the inspiration for, for this one. Um, and I, I'll leave a link to it. I think I actually credit it on my Nexus page. Um, they do something similar. They use brackets and they put the letter Z in it to like make sure it goes to near the bottom. But I, didn't, I don't like seeing the letter Z in my menu and so nothing against that mod it's still a very good idea it's just me personally i don't like seeing the letter z and i don't like there being a bracket you know an open bracket z lowercase z end bracket i don't want to see that in my menu i wanted something very simple that feels like it's a part of the base game and so that's what i chose with this i did this for all of the base game the dlc and the other mods that i use so I have patches for um, Tales from the Commonwealth, um, Wild Wasteland, uh, America Rising 2. Um, I, I'm definitely missing something else. I think there's one single key in Mutant Menagerie, Menagerie, however the hell you say that. There's a single key in there, and I did a patch for that because I just I want them all in here, you know? It's like it's not really a big deal when you go into your so I in my this is actually my save so in my save I keep all of my keys um, oh they're on me right but um, but yeah this is like where I keep like my notes but if you go you're not gonna see your keys in here I mean you will see some I think 
No, you won't. So most of your keys and passwords, they're limited to your pit boy, but it is to me kind of annoying. Um, I pick up a note, I pick up something, and then it immediately, like, okay, now I have to go find it in this list. So this really helps me out. All my keys, passwords are on the bottom. They're still here. Nothing's really changed with base game. All I literally changed is the name of these items. And I'll go into that at the end of this video, how I did that. So you could do it or something like it if you want to yourself. Now that's the first mod I did. Um, all keys after Z. Very simple. I like alliteration. <laughs> I like things that rhyme. Um, and so the other mod I did is called uh, all, <laughs> all tapes to top but I have in parentheses, it's all settings tapes do top. So I have lots of mods in my game. I'm sure you do too. And they all add their own little hollow tape with settings and they all do it a little differently. I wanted it uniform. So I, with Fallout 4 edit, I went in and I edited every single hollow tape of a mod that uh, is one that I use. So, Obviously, this isn't something that's like a base game or DLC thing. This is strictly a mod thing. So there's no like core patch. This is just multiple patches. Um, so I did this. Uh, so for every um, settings tape, I did parentheses. And the reason I did that is the same thing like the bullet from earlier. Parentheses is always going to appear above in the sequence of characters. So it's always going to appear in your list above the alphabet so if you pick up an item and it appears in your miscellaneous tab now for me all my items are just going to be here that i have picked up i found my settings tapes are going to be at the top i use so i i chose not to change g terminal i want that one at the top um so i just want it to stay that way that's just my personal preference um, but I did want everything else to say settings. I wanted it to just go to the top and stop, you know, SKK, I love their mods, but they do that period in front of the SKK. And just to me, that's like, I don't really like the way that looks. I didn't, I didn't do a patch for this one because I'm still kind of debating on if I want this mod or not. The more I play, the more I feel like I don't think I need this one. This is a mod that makes the um, the Brotherhood of Steel entrance is no longer triggered by exiting Fort Hagen or whatever it is that you go to for the story. It's just triggered by um, helping out the Brotherhood of Steel at the police station in, I think it's Concord, right? No, not Concord, it's Cambridge. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep that mod or not, so that's why I haven't edited that. If I do end up keeping it, I will add it to my mod and update it so man there's a lot of stuff to go into about that stuff and i'll touch on it but i'll mostly share links to where you could get the same information i did to get a more detailed how to for now this is just that's what this is so this mod all tapes to top just pushes settings mods um hollow tapes up to the top um including the aid section, because SKK has a couple mods that go in the aid section, and um, also in this section too. And you might have noticed, I did have right here, down here, ECO. ECO adds a few aid mods that you can craft that are for like weapon, um, like to switch out weapon mods, like while you're playing, or other uses like that. I don't know. I don't really use that feature of ECO, but if I choose to, I want it to... I still want it to appear at the top of the menu. I just don't want it to appear with the settings, because it's not really a setting. It's not something I can adjust. It's more like a thing I can use while playing. So for those specific things, I put a dash in front, because a dash, the character, uh, the dash will always appear below the parentheses, but it'll always appear above the alphabet. So in my menu, um, if I had those in my aid section, they would appear directly beneath the settings holotapes, along with this .skk thing. Now, 
my last mod that I made, I made three different mods because I wanted to... It's just going to be easier for me in the future when I update and add new th new patches. I want to keep it simple. So if I do keys, they're going to go in my key mod. If I do settings and holotapes, whatever, those will go in my settings and holotapes mod. This mod, my last one that I made, is called Sort Some Stuff. <laughs> Again, with the alliteration. Um, now this mod is, is a little bit more complex but not really this will be kind of a catch-all this is like everything that doesn't fit into those other categories so right now all this mod does is it adds a dash in front of the campsite mod oh sorry my dog's barking so any um so if you make like a sleeping bag or whatever with that mod uh, it'll have a little dash in front of it, so it'll appear below your settings hollow tapes, but it will uh, be above any items you find in the game, like regular gameplay items. In fact, I, I should do something with bobby pins. They should. I don't know. They don't need. I'll think about something with the bobby pins. But, anyways, so the mod currently all. Sort some stuff does is add a dash to camping items by the campsite for the campsite mod, so it's easier because for for me when I was playing with the with the campsite mod, I would I just kept finding myself like okay where the fuck is my lantern, where is my sleeping bag? And that's just me. I mean I know it's near the top, but like if you found bobbleheads like see all this stuff, everything right here would have been above campsite. The campsite would have been between those. Now it's right here, easy to grab. I found a cool spot. I want to sleep for the night. I can drop my lantern real quick and easy. And then I also did um, another tiny mod. Um, this is because, man, what we today? I have a lot of mods. So my utility section is starting to like, it's, it's crazy. I actually have a duplicate utility section because of the jetpack. So I need to change that. I'm not quite sure why this has a duplicate. This mod has a duplicate. I don't really know why. I want to, I'm thinking about merging, moving that to a different category. Anyway, so sort some stuff. It's not just going to add some dashes and stuff to items in your aid in your miscellaneous section, but in the long run, I'm going to be kind of reorganizing the utility section. I don't want to completely reorganize it because I am comfortable with the setup of some of these mods. Like I am using um, like the camping gear. I'm fine with that all being in its own camping section. The compendium, compendium for mutant menagerie, menagerie. I'm fine with it being where it is. Dogs hat helmets. Like those are fine. These are okay. I'm fine with where they are. It's not exactly how I would have organized it. You know what I mean? But it's it's good. All of its stuff is together things that aren't good to me is this i don't really like that if i go to utility section there's settings hollow tapes there's wild wasteland things in here there's a flare gun in here for some reason um there's the uh mutant menageries fishing rods in here we have some ammo in here so I've released the mod right now with a single patch or two. I think it has two patches right now. Oh, it has, actually it has three patches, my bad. I forgot the other thing I did with it. But anyways, with it includes a base um, mod, like patch, I guess. So you have, like there's a base, like a foundation with it. And with that, I've just added some keywords so I could do I like the half gas mask mod a lot. I use it a lot. Um, I've moved those to their own apparel section. There's, I'm gonna make um, sections like your Pip Boy. Your Pip Boy has weapons, apparel, miscellaneous aid. It has some more than that. Those are the main things I'm going to do. I've already made those keywords. I just haven't started integrating everything yet. So far, I've just made a section to move the half gas mass over to apparel. 
So the reason I'm doing that is because, and I've been going back and forth on it, I, part of me just wants to make a section for every mod, you know, wild wasteland section, have gas mask section, whatever. But I feel like that's going to get annoying after a while. And I don't want, I want, the whole point of these things that I made is to keep it like simple. I don't use Fallout 4 or Script Extender. I don't use any of that other stuff. I don't want to run a script in my Fallout 4 edit. So it, I don't want to do any of that stuff. I just want to have something simple that works. So I moved to have gas mask to apparel. I have plans for the, if you have Wild Wasteland, I have plans to move Wild Wasteland stuff. Originally I was going to do it to um, its own things, but I think I'm just going to divide stuff up by type. That's what I want to do for right now. I might eventually change it and put all the Wild Wasteland stuff together. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten that far yet. I have to think about it. But there's a lot of stuff in here. Like, I just want this shit to be organized. I don't like looking at it, and it's it's a mess to me. I don't, I don't like it. And, like, the jetpack from Cross, the Cross jetpack... Um... I need to do something with that. I don't like where it is. But I like the other stuff, like tactical flashlights. Now, this has its own category. Originally, this was in utility, but I am using a mod by Exoclips, and I, you should check them out. They have some really cool mods for, or patches for lots of mods. And this is one of them that I use, and they already put it in their, their own tactical flashlight. So I might end up doing that. I don't know yet i can always modify what i've done but anyways we're almost done so the last thing i wanted to show you um which is part of my sort some stuff mod uh it so you've already seen that it fixes campsite stuff in your miscellaneous section um it moves the half gas mask to their own apparel section which i'm already as i'm saying this I'm like uh man i think i'm just gonna change it to the half gas mask section and i'll just make a section for each mod and then i'll keep it super simple um, instead of, you know, being confused where stuff is. Now, the other thing I did is the cigar mod, which is my character wearing one right now. Yes, he is. He's wearing a little cigar on his little head. So, I like this mod a lot. My problem with it is that I like to put dashes in front of all my gear. Now that's easy. We can do that just by going to modify our armor and you can press Y to rename it, put a dash in front of it, done. It's at the top of your list, it's easy to find. You could do that in game. Problem with the dry cigar or any of the smokable, or not smokable, you can't smoke them, but any of those apparel cosmetic items with the uh, cigarette in mouth mod, which I love, absolutely love. Um, it, they're, you can't modify them, you can't et rename them. They're just going to be lost in, in here all the time. And so many times I've accidentally dropped them, I've put them in a container on accident. Uh, especially because we're in Fallout, so there's radiation all the time. So I have to regularly take my cigarette off so I can put on my gas mask. So I have this favorited here, gas mask, glasses, cigar. But sometimes I'm wearing something new or different, and it gets lost. So, this mod just adds a dash in front of all the cigarette apparel pieces. So when you craft one, it's going to be at the top of your apparel list. And that's it. That's all it does. Really simple, really easy. So, now I've shown you what those mods do. Now I'm going to show you how I did it. I'll show you the secret sauce. I'm sure it's really exciting, maybe. Can you see this? Let me look at my OBS real quick. Um, let's see, source. There we go. All right, so now we're back here. I hope you're able to see that, everything that I was just doing. That would suck if you couldn't. <laughs> but that's fine, I can always delete this and start a new one. Um, so anyway, so here we are. And where the magic happens. Now I'm going to go to Fallout 4 Edit. Now here's my mods right here. All keys after Z. Oh yeah, and I told you I like alliteration, so it's 
all keys after O and rhyming, all keys after Z entirely. That's my all-in-one. I should have done it for here, but my all-in-one for this one is supreme because I'm a crazy person. And of course, this one also begins with a T. It's totally... All right, those are that's what I did. But anyways, let's go to Fallout 4, and I'll show you what I did, how I did it. It's not that complicated, really. It is easy. I did get a comment from somebody already like, "What? Why would you make this? You could, you could, you could easily go do it yourself and modify the file." And I already responded to them and explained why you would want to do this um, instead of doing that. But, um, oh, duh. Hold on, give me a second. Yeah, I was like. That's not the way it's supposed to look. Okay, invert selection. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to select those specific mods. Now, they do have some requirements, so I'm going to click on those as well. Because I have the all-in-ones of these mods that I made, so they require all of those mods that they patch. So this isn't going to be like a super thorough like tutorial or anything like that. I just want to give you a basic idea of like what I did and how I did it because when I was trying to figure this out, I felt like it was really challenging and difficult. I felt like the it was hard to find answers online for my specific questions or maybe it's just me being confused and needing things worded a specific way so my brain can understand it. I don't know, but here we go. So all I did right there was I chose the mods and their required, um, their master files. So it's loading all that stuff right now. And there we go. Now we're near the... It's loaded in. Okay, so now here's everything going on. Now here's my mod right here. Here's like, let's look at my keys. So I'll show you where the keys are. So in Fallout 4, in the ESM file, you can go down to key. It's that fucking easy. <laughs> it's right there. That's all the keys in the in the game. All all the passwords, everything is right there for the base game. They're all in here. Now. This is it right here, full name. This is the line that dictates what the item is called. The very, now I'm super new, super novice, super rookie, whatever you wanna, whatever synonym you wanna use. Um, this is still very new to me. So, but from what I understand, what you have here is this isn't the object in the game or whatever, the, the file for the object in the game. Like this tells you what the model is going to be. This is like the weight. So there's some values in here. Um, there, I don't know if there's more stuff going on than that, but the very, very cool thing about how stuff works in this game is that um, the name is like not really attached so much. So I can change the name, but it's not gonna fuck anything up in the game. It's super cool like that. So all I did, was I put a bullet in front of it. And how did I get that bullet? That's also pretty easy too. Let me see if I can get to there for you really quick. Here we go. I looked up, oh, this isn't the one I used. I'm sorry, give me a second. Actually, let me just go to, um, you know, an easier way to do this. Oh, I can't because I'm already here. I'm sorry. I was going to try and pull up my mod page because I actually linked it. I guess I could do that really quick. Let's go to Fallout 4. Let's go to... I came out this week. That's when I came into existence on my little mods. Where are they? Here they are. And the one I'm looking for right now is this one. Okay. <laughs> Just so I can grab my link. I put a link right here into it for anyone that is like me. So here's what I was talking about. This is the sequence of everything, the alphabet, where it goes. And I chose to use 
a bullet because it's lower in the table. So that means that's always going to be the lowest in my list compared to other items I'll find in the game. So I just used that. I copied that from here. And I pasted it in front of every single key <laughs> in the base game. And now, so how did I do that? Well, it's, it's pretty easy. You just, um, what I did was I clicked on the section, right clicked on that word key. I went to deep copy as override into. What that does is that is um, copying this stuff and then it'll give me an option. Well, when you first click this, you'll get a pop-up warning. Are you sure? Yeah, I am sure. I, going to do this. And so now a pop-up's going to come up. It's going to say, okay, so where do you want to copy this to? And I'm not going to copy it to any of this stuff. You know, but you could. Uh, and that's what I did. I, um, But initially, I created a new ESP flagged as ESL. That's where I pasted the base game keys. And then once I made... an once I click on this, it's going another pop-up window will come up. What do you want to call this ESP? I called it what I wanted. I called it all keys after Z. And then additionally, I started, uh, I went to the, I just canceled that. So this didn't, that don't, isn't going to happen. Then I went to each DLC, robot, that's automatron. And I copied over these. Now this time I added those to my same file esp file and i did that for every single dlc they don't all have keys but all the major ones do um and then i started duplicating them uh because i didn't just make my main one that has everything so this is my all keys after z this is my all-in-one so this has all of the base game all of the dlc all of america rising to um um Wild Wasteland, Tales from the Commonwealth, uh, Mutant Menagerie. Um, I feel like there's some more stuff I'm forgetting that has keys that is in here, but maybe not. Like these are, you, so you have some Enclave stuff right here. Oh, there's some Creation Club content down here. Actually, this is, uh, I think that's Remnants. This is the um, Remnants, the whatever, I can't remember what it's called, the Lost Echo. I can't remember what the name of that quest is called, but so you got some, that's what all that is. But I, I also made because I wanted people who don't have all those DLCs or patches. Um, well, actually, the base mod I have here requires the base game and the DLCs. Um, but like if you don't have the Creation Club content, you don't have to use that patch. So I actually made multiple versions. I copied everything into one, and then I also copied the individual things into their own. So that way um, you could just use the patches you want and stack them if you choose. And now for sort some stuff, it's similar. This one is a little bit, actually this will come to that one last because that's a little more complex. Um, all tapes to top, this is similar. So you have here the note. That's items that are appearing in the miscellaneous section. So like for Vivid Weathers, here's the full name, and I added settings to it. And so this column is telling you that this ESP here is changing stuff to this one. And it's showing you the single line where that is happening. And it's just the name. That's all that's changing. And I did that for all of the miscellaneous um, holotape settings. Oh, Beastmaster, that's one of the mods I use. That has a settings holotape. Um, this is one of Dank Rafts. Um, they have quite a few. Uh, there's munitions. So what is this one? Bot Legend. Oh, that's another Dank Raft. I think that's a um, legendary um, enchantments for automatrons. Um, now, in addition to that, there are some aid items that I wanted to the top. So here we have the two settings for SKK mods that I use. And then down here, we have the ECOs. Now for those, I just put hyphen or a dash because I don't want those to be at the top. I want settings to be the top, but I still want these to be above your regular aid items. So, and these are usable things that you might want to like 
set up a universal workbench, quick modification. So I kind of want those to be something that I could, if I were to put that in my hotkeys, you know, in the game, my favorites, it's not going to take a lot of space. I could see it easy. Anyway, so that's that mod. Then you have sort some stuff right here. Supreme, of course, that means it's the everything. This one's a little more complicated. So you have your miss item. Now these are all the camping kits that I added a dash in front of. So that way, if I were to craft any one of these campsite sleeping bags or whatever, see this is a cooking pot, this is the tent, they all have a dash in front of them so they'll easily pop up at the top of the list in your miscellaneous section. Now, constructible object. Those are going to be things that are made on the utility workbench or the chemistry workbench or really any workbench. Actually, not even just workbenches. A constructible object could be workshop stuff. So this, um, this is just all the half gas mask stuff. All I did was, this is more complicated. So right here, to explain that, we have workbench chem lab. That's saying where this is going to happen. Where is this constructible object going to be on the chem lab? What section is it going to be? Well, it's going to be in the utility section. Now, this, this is this part where I was really confused about what I was trying to figure this out. I thought I could just relabel this. You can't. You have to make a whole new keyword. So this is referencing this keyword. Now, let's show, let me show you where those are. Go into the base game Fallout 4. Go down to keyword, and here you go. These are all the keywords in the game. This is showing, like, look at this. This is showing something that's happening right here. There's a dank ECO is changing this keyword right here. Um, so keywords are things that the game uses to. I don't want to. I don't want to make things complicated. It's just things that the game uses to organize stuff or label stuff. Um, so let's get down to where the chemistry workbench keywords are. Those are down here. Here it is. That's the utility section. That's the keyword for the utility section of the chemistry workbench. Right here, you probably recognize this. This is the syringer ammo section. This is the keyword right here for it. Now, I wanted to make my own keywords so I could make my own sections, my own categories. So what I had to do was I had to click on this, I had to click copy as new record into. That's going to work kind of like what, we sh what I showed you earlier. So I would do the same thing, and that's exactly what I did. I copied it down here into my sort some stuff. Now, I have two versions of this. My sort some stuff has this as part of it. This is my all-in-one. But for this mod, if you don't want the all-in-one, I have a sort some stuff base, and that has just the keyword in it. And then I have sort some stuff, you know, a campsite, sort some stuff, half gas mask. So you can just, if you only wanted the half gas mask patch, you could just have the sort some stuff base, half, sort some stuff half gas mask patch, and be done with it. And your ga gas masks are in a different category. So here's the categories. I made apparel, weapons, aid, miscellaneous ammo. And I was already talking to you earlier in this video that I'll probably be changing that. I'm not quite sure yet what I want to do. I'm thinking it might be make more sense to make them all have just a label of what mod they are, so they're just easier to find. At first I wanted to just throw all weapons into the weapons, all apparel into apparel, but I don't want to make it complicated.